backhanded in. Chased down by Wedman, knocked around the net, hit the corner glass, and then gathered in by Matei Picard. He'll force it out to center. JVD's got to come backwards, but Weisbach gets there first, and he feeds it across to Cohen Olaszewski, who will bury it to open the scoring two minutes and 20 seconds in. Olaszewski trailing in and able to get it to go five hole between the legs of Levy Marilainen. For it. And he'll leave it for Linus Weisbach to start forward. Weisbach to center. Pass across to Mersch was blocked but gets through. Here's a shot they score. A cross slot one timer. Finished off by Weisbach, and it's 2-0 Amherst on the power play marker. Knocked around by Rochester, kept in by Aspero. Gloved down by the Amherst, and now they'll be able to get it out. Clearing attempt by Bartkowski, hit Crookshank. Back in now with Sharche, who shoots and scores. A Sharche slapper from the left side has cut the lead in half, and Belleville get on the board, courtesy of Rourke Sharche's 16th of the season. Great job by Angus Crookshank to block the puck and get back in. And then he sees Sharche at the top of the left circle and he just hammers it. Way to center. Here's Lucini for Quenville. Shot was weak and kicked out. Castles to the rebound in the corner. Cycle engaged. Lucini. Castles trying to get it across. They score. Not sure if it deflected in or if Quenville got a piece. They're going to give it to Cole Castles. And Castles has his 12th of the season. Behind the net now is Lassie Thompson in deep. 20 seconds left in the frame as it's fired to the net. And the Sens will score. And Rourke Sharche in the mix again. He was pushed into the net and took it off. But the red light is on. A goal has been pointed. And Rourke Sharche appears to have his second of the game. Thompson threw it to the net, and as he's being checked from behind into the goalpost, Rourke Sharche deflects. Murray skating ahead, he's got some help on both sides, flicks it off on his left, that's Mersch, and into the middle it comes for Murray, who scores. Boy, that off the rush passing by the Rochester Americans, especially when they get into the Scoring area in the slot. It is on the money. And Brent Murray is counted for the 23rd time for Pilot again. Gets Lucini to bite and then feeds Kulik for a one-timer. And he scores. And another power play goal for the Amherst has put Rochester back in front. I have something to say about. Extra attacker out. It's six on three. Sokolov. Yarbenti one-timer wide of the net. Quenville's the extra attacker up high in the middle. Here's Roby in the right circle. Up top, Quenville has a look. Sokolov shoots and scores. Igor with the extra attacker has tied the game. And listen to the fans here in Rochester as we're even at four. And that goal coming on a delayed penalty. So Belleville's two-man advantage continues. Yervante gives it to Sokolov. Sokolov to the slot. Here's Roby with a one-timer. He scores. And the Sens are back in front. As this seesaw battle continues. Bound. There's a fall by Thompson. In come the Amherst and Yops is going to get stopped. At the far post by Marilinen. A full split save by Levy Marilinen. Kolov moves it to the line. Sikoni keeps it in. Sends it across for Lawrence Pilot. Pilot looking for the backdoor pass. And not able to get a connection there was Yopst. Funneled in behind the net for Murray. Set out in front. Weisbach is robbed by Levy Marilinen.
What a glove save by Levy Marilinen on Linus Weisbach at the edge of the crease. Weisbach had all kinds of room. Backwards, Aspero shoots. Stopped by Subban, rebound, scores! Angus Crookshank right in Subban's kitchen, knocks it in. The Sens have some insurance with two minutes to go. And Angus Crookshank has 26 goals on the season. And there is the hat trick for Rourke Chartier from inside his own blue line. 